Hey, it's Virginia. I'm just going to do some YouTube channel art and I thought I'd show you how I did it. So this is what I'm going to end up with and then I'll just go back and show you. I've put this on double speed because I'm a bit slow at using the software. So you go in here to Pixely, you look for YouTube channel art, these are the options that come up and you look through and see if there's a similar one and I just use this one because it was a little bit like what I wanted to do. Actually, it's the exact colour of the background that I wanted and a little bit of text on it I wanted as well, but I've got to remove all these things first, which have taken me a little while. So I'll just keep removing those. Okay. It took me so long, I just started again because I accidentally removed the background when I was doing it before. <laughs> Okay, doesn't matter because I'm doing it real quick anyway. I've left the area in so you can see that it's still quite quick even if you make a mistake. Okay, so I'm just deleting all these things because I don't want them. Delete this character too. I deleted one too many times. There we go. Okay, so just move all those over there. Get rid of these other things. Okay, and this is what I'm going to do next. So, new training. I haven't tested this offer out yet, so this might change, but this is just uh, an offer I put in for now so that I can see if it's... Um, my offers to do a free media kit for boxes. And I match the colour by using the colour thing. Then I've just gone into my files on the left there and added a picture. And then I want to do next. I think I did. Um, I think I was looking for an arrow now. Just getting an arrow for the picture. There we go. I'm going to put a TV up there. I'm just wanting to have an arrow to point to the training because people seem to notice it more when you do that. And also it will point to the link that will come up in the channel up later on. I look for a TV. I put a TV up there. It's on TV, it's a, it's a computer screen. And then I took a screenshot of the, and then I also wanted a phone. So I just grabbed a mock off of the phone. And the reason I put the phone in there and the laptop screen is because they're the things I actually want to show them some things on Instagram and my landing pages here. I just took a screenshot of my landing page and put it into that laptop so they kind of subconsciously will think it's a landing page, which it is. And I can do another video where I show you how to do the landing pages, actually. So now that, and then I click on this mock-up to edit it. There we go. And save that. The software is not actually this slow. I'm uploading something to YouTube as well, which is why this was taking longer than all this time. That's why I've sped it up. Okay. And I just grab my text from where I've already done it on my channel up just to show you. And I went hunting for it. And it wasn't even in my notes, it was there on my Snagit screen. So I've got it in there. 
change the font. Then I looked around for the size, trying to work out what size it should be. Came across that in the end. Oh, I want that little painted bit under there so that it highlights it. There you go. Still, it's a bit big looking. You have got sick of mucking around with this, so I just went like that with it. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. So that. Yeah, I've got to move that on. So that's how I made my YouTube channel cover. Oh, yeah, I've got to just quickly uh, get the underneath to that to look a little bit better. Took me a few goes, I think. Yes. Here we go. Okay, that's it. Thanks. I'll see you next time.